detox, 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 detox. Sit inside a spirit, I'm block, unlock, whoa. Detox, 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 detox. Meditate with self until everything stops. Detox, 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 detox. Yeah, you better. Detox, 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 detox. Yeah, let me talk. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of You Got the Juice, aka. Let me hear you, let me hear you, let me hear you. Baby. You got the juice now. My name is Eric Kuto, I'm your host. And you saw earlier, we, we were talking about fight night, right? We were talking about, ooh, 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 fight night. We got the Nama J2, we got the Cannoli JE75. Man, like I said, it ain't no real, you know what I'm saying, heavyweight bout, but we gonna see how both of these juices perform. We got this beautiful seated watermelon boy right there. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, we got some basil right here. Normally I use the basil as a garnish, right? So I use the basil as a garnish to garnish the um, the juice, put it at the end. <clears throat> if you want to juice basil, you can. I might put a little bit in there just to see because I know we had a few people asking about um, leafy greens inside the cannoli. So we'll see how they both perform. I got two Mexican limes here and I got about a good, you know, you could put it next to my thumb, a thumb uh, piece of ginger to go through. So let's do that. Um, shout out to the person that commented because I was going through the uh, six pieces of armor of God and I left out one and it was the sword of the, uh, the, like the sword, right? The sword of the spirit. And that is the word, the word of God. So shout out to you for uh, mentioning that. Of course, I went back to Ephesians and read up on that, but I appreciate you because, um, you know, everything else like the, the, the feet of peace, the truth, the belt of truth, the... Uh, Helmet of Salvation, Breastplate of Righteousness, um, the Sword of the Spirit, and the Shield of Faith, right? It, all of the other pieces are great, the shield, but you got to be able to, you know, deal with attacks. So you got to be able to fight back, and you fight back when reading God's Word. So I thought that was dope, man. I really appreciate you for saying that. Um, shout out to you guys and whatever you believe in. This is a channel that supports mental health, emotional connectivity, and community too. So make sure y'all email us some pictures of y'all juicing so I can put it up on the website when it's ready. You got the juice now at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah. But let me not uh let me not talk too much. Oh, look at that chop. Chop is ridiculous. I don't know. Crazy. Mm, hold up, listen for it, listen for it. Hold up. Yeah, <laughs> what you know about it? What do you know about it, man? Smells good. You see the beautiful seeds. Man, look at that. Let me take another picture on y'all. Yeah. Man, that smells so good. So, let's go ahead and load them up. Now, with the cannoli, we already see, right? Like, let's take a look at both of them. We see the cannoli isn't as big with the juice chamber, and that's okay. Like, with the chamber where you put everything at the layer chamber, let's call it the layer chamber. It's not as big, but uh, it still can pack a punch, right? This is the chamber where the juice releases, so they're both kind of decent in size. We see the juice, the juice trays. So we, we see those things, right? I think the first thing I want to do for both, um, I'm going to chop up some of this ginger. We know, like I said, if you, you want to really test the juice out, put some ginger in there and let's see how it fares out. So let's get the Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> I was about to say gin and juice. Lord, too much Snoop Dogg for me. Too much Snoop D-O-double-G. Y'all been seeing Snoop Dogg at the Olympic cut up, man? It's like they, they paying Snoop. They are. They paying him, I think, 500 grand to be at the Olympics. Snoop Dogg is getting more to be a participant at the Olympics, like for promotion, than the people who win gold medals. Let's talk about it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's cr I could go out there and perform and be, you know, top boxer or top swimmer, top basketball, get a gold for my country. But Snoop Dogg, who, who is promoting the Olympics, he going to get more money than all of us put together. That's crazy. I don't, I don't even know what to tell y'all about that. That is way too ridiculous. Oh, man. That's got to be a special watermelon, man. Look at that. Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Chopping him down, right? Chopping him down. Chopping him down. And the goal that I'm, I'm getting to right here is just to keep the rind on for this particular juice. The rind has special benefits, especially for men, you know, especially for men. So <laughs> you keep the rind on. And to be honest with you, it's going to be another test for the cannoli. 
it's going to be another test for the cannoli to see if this juicer can juice with the rind on because the rind is kind of hard and you know with juicers being able to take um to be able to deal with uh you know just how hard some of the fruit can be how difficult some of the fruit can be it's, it is a test and there's nothing wrong with a test because without a test you don't have a testimony if, if, if you know what i'm talking about so boom throw that in there now with my nama j2 yes i could put more in my nama you know it's just the you know the truth of it but it's okay yeah. Now we know that door right there, right here. Yeah, that door is finicky. So you, I, I'm gonna leave it there. But I don't want no, I don't want no trouble out you today. You always give me trouble. Shout out Bernie Mac. Trouble, trouble. Mm. Oh, also shout out Cameron because I know you be watching my episodes, little brother. I appreciate you. You get a shout out. Yes, I, you've been you've been promoting me to your mom. Your mom subscribed. I appreciate that. So if you watching this episode, this one moment is for you. What up, Kanye? I can't leave y'all, baby. How y'all doing, man? What's up, boys? All right, come on. Let's keep going. Boom, boom. Here we go. All right, so we got those pieces already in. Now, I'm going to take this Mexican lime, right? Because they, they always say that, like, watermelon, to bring out some of the best properties in watermelon, you want to add some lime. So we're going to see today. This is my first time ever adding lime. And for you guys out there, comment, you know, because I love when you guys share your recipes. I'm always in the comment section. I'm always reading what you guys leave behind. And so I had a few people talk about lime, maybe like in the early uh, season one when I first, you know, started this. But, um, you know, talk to me about what you guys normally do with your watermelon. And, you know, here you go, you can see the limes. What you guys do with your watermelon? Do you add lime? Like, how do you, how do, you do these things? Boom. Let's do that. And let's add that piece right there. All right, now we have all we need for a stable juicing session. Oh, yeah. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Let me taste it. Let's see. Mm. Interesting. It's soft. It ain't the sweetest. It's somewhat sweet for sure, but it's real soft. I, I can do that. All right, here we go. All right, all right, everybody ready to go. Here we go. In five, four, no, I'm just kidding. This is fight. <laughs> For both, all right. Let's do this. We're gonna get two different pictures. Boom. Oh, by the way, let's see. The emotion of the day is anger, because you know, like this is a mental health channel. So we we'll take a break. Give both, um, give both respective people, both respective boxes. They, you know, time in their corner while they get themselves together. Let the corner talk to them and patch them up. But the, um, the emotion of the day is anger. How do you deal with anger? How do you choose to deal with anger? Um, anger is a secondary emotion. So nine times out of 10, when you get angry, what is it that you're really feeling? What are you suppressing? What are you uh, not expressing? You know, like, what is it? And if you can't control it, 
anger can lead to some dangerous positions. A lot of people have gotten hurt over anger, whether it's physically, mentally, or spiritually. So when you're working to control anger, the best thing you can do is to give time, one time will subside so you can process yourself and understand what's going on. Two, if you find yourself in a situation where you're forced to deal with anger in a time when you're not ready or in an environment where you might behave outside yourself, walk away. Walk away from people, let them know you love them, but you know what I'm saying, when the time is right, but walk away, because you could end up really damaging somebody, or you could really end up damaging the people you love and care about. You could change somebody's opinion of you, which sometimes it don't matter, but to the people you love, you want to take that into consideration. So, uh, you know, we got to take that word, uh, take that time out to deal with the emotion of the day, man, anger. How do you deal with it? How do you channel it, right? And understand that the process of alchemy, alchemy, right? It's always taking one thing and changing it to another state. You can use anger to you know, alleviate stress, to alleviate your body and work it out. You can also use anger to make a beautiful creative work like poetry, music. Uh, you could cook an amazing meal being angry. So really it's just about how you take that time out. You can always go to your word. You know, this is a God loving channel, baby. But you go to your word, you can write in a journal, but whatever you do, do not take your anger out on somebody, um, especially you know, in the heat of anger. A lot of people say you show your true self when you're angry, but I mean, at the end of the day, is it really you or is it just really your way of wanting to hurt or beat up on somebody? So don't think that the the boxing gloves we use today, they're a metaphor. Don't beat up on people that don't deserve it. So, all right, all right we didn't have enough. And I, I, I know y'all be, be like, okay, all right, all right, spiritual brother. You know, you got to represent for the spiritual brother. Bad brother, I don't want you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that lime is potent. Man, that lime is potent. All right, so get all our scorecards, judges. Get the scorecards out. Based on volume, the nama is winning, right? Cool. Now let's put it. Let's 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 put a little basil in there. Let's drop one little seed. Let's drop another seed. Boom. Drop a seed. Boom. I ain't gonna lie. You a little dirty, so you gotta go back in that night to wash you up again. Boom. All right. Oh, that smell good. But it's not, I mean, shout out to my people in, 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 the, in the different places of the world. I don't want to say too much, you know what I'm saying, get myself beat up on here myself. But shout out to the people in different places in the world, because it smells like a drink that's from the, the, the southern, you know, parts of the region, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, taste is there. I will put a little bit more watermelon in there, because that lime is real potent. That lime and that ginger mixed together, them boys punching for real. That's a spicy meat bottle. Mmm. It about what and what. The juices, I ain't gonna lie, the juices are about what and what. So the composition didn't change. But when we pull our scorecard out, when it comes to volume, the number's gonna win. Look at the juice chamber, it's bigger, right? I mean, even look at the wattage. You can tell by the cords, right? This cord is like a normal cord with two prongs. The Nama has a three prong cord. So the wattage is definitely bigger. Other than that, what I would say is for the canola to keep up, let me release some of this extra juice. Oop, look, 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 look. I didn't even release some of the juice. We cheating that bottle some of his school card. My bad, dog. My bad. To the people at Canola that's watching, y'all lucky I saw that. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, look at the difference, though, now. A lot. Excuse me. Dang, they about what and what. I drunk a little bit from both. But they still about what and what. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. All right. So we in that in. Yeah. Yeah, baby. We in that. Like, 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 like type, type stuff. Yeah. So they bought what and what. As you can see the volume, you see the pulp. So we got pulp from both. So at this point, right now, I don't know. I can't give it to either one. All I can say is that you get the same juice shield. You get it quicker with the nama. But it's the, if you're going to do the work, you're going to get it with the canola too. So... That's one one. Round one is done. Catch us on another episode of You Got the Juice Now, baby, for another fight. You know, um, if you have any questions, you can email us at, at yougotthejuicenow at gmail.com. I had to think about it. Volume one of our ebook is on our site. It's at payhip.com, which is in your bio. We have a coupon code, which will display now. For the Canole JE75, you get 15% off. Use the coupon code the Juice Team, T H A Juice Team. Uh, Nama, we still work in Nama. Yeah, better send some. Stop playing, baby. But the Nama J2 is uh, on Nama's site, so you know we'll make sure we put the price point of both. But other than that, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Man, we can't do nothing if you don't subscribe. Y'all better pay for these groceries. These groceries are getting high, bitch. But uh, other than that, uh, we appreciate you. We love you. Juice, man.